guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting ring to episode 10 of Wonder Egg Priorities. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Hell, I thought we were on episode 11. I think it's because I watch so many different things. Sometimes I get confused on what we're episode we're on. Uh. <laughs> And we're not even going to see the break. Mm -mm. Oh, all in your mind, huh? All a dream. It's so fucking precious, oh my god. It'd be really interesting if the dream that she just had plays out the exact same way. Almost like a premonition. Because we've all had that before and it's super weird. Or like deja vu. It's the weirdest feeling in the world. And you're like, what the fuck? Because <laughs> that's happened to me multiple times where... I've had a dream that my I was going somewhere for the day and such. And then I woke up and my mom and I went to the exact same place in my dream. And I'm like, what the hell? And it, it's weird, but it's interesting though. You know you are, yeah. So start talking. Mm. Yeah, you might as well say something. What? <laughs> also, you look cute with your hair down. No, you look good. <laughs> That's them? Why he look good? Oh my god. What the? Don't I <laughs> eh? I'm going on a date. <laughs> 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 
So, how'd it go? Yeah. Did the date not go good? Okay, then what happened? God dang, he has really nice shoulders. Let me not. Jesus Christ. <laughs> you follow your heart. You think you do what you think is right, babe. Who dislikes you for you? <laughs> oh
Oh, snap. She's gone. Mm-hmm. Something in the mist. Oh, my God. Seems more like a. F oh, I thought it would be your father. That's also rape. He need to go to jail. But she doesn't want to be a girl, though. Mm -hmm. I mean, damn, Momo. Damn, like... <laughs> Yeah. Hmm?
Hmm? What the? Hmm? What do you see? That's so fu- That is so mean. So mean. Oh, my money was on native, but damn. I think she'll spend time with you still, but now that, you know, what's done is done. That's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Aww. And that means he loves you too. Mm Okay, we ain't talking about that now? I don't think so now that, you know, she's done. Ma'am, you look like the Triangle Man from Silent Hill. Uh, 
It's too much. I have a really bad feeling and I don't want to talk about it right now. Oh my God. I just want to comfort her right now and be like, it's okay. But so, she's going to do something. I know she's going to do something and I, and I don't like it. I don't. What the heck was this chick with? I am so confused right now. Mm -mm. We, yeah, video essay. Somebody make a video essay on this episode, please. Because, of course, she seems like she's a Grim Reaper. And she's coming here on her own mission to kill the girls one by one. So, of course, killing, you know, the animals that are important to them. And then eventually, either them having the choice of her killing them or them killing themselves. I don't know. I mean, maybe in the end, I might be the only one who might survive this. I mean, we got probably three more weeks with this show. Bruh, make it make sense. Something, some shit. But the fact is that, you know, okay, I, I'm really proud of her. Really, really proud of this child. She, you know, got the courage to go to her sensei's expedition and to see that picture of her older, that was beautiful. Either one of two things might be happening with that picture. Um, either they're, they're going to sell it as official merch or somebody's going to paint that and they're going to sell it, but they're still going to be like, I don't own the rights to this, you know, such and such owns the rights to this and such. I would really like to see someone, um, especially the company, make a really nice painting of that. I know it's going to cost a lot of freaking money um, just to buy like a really authentic, pretty, gorgeous painting of someone. But honestly, I would like, you know how you always have like that dream painting that you want to hang in your house? For me, it, there's two. This is now one of them. Um, and then it's the, um, if any of you have either plain Persona 5 or Persona 5 Royal, and specifically when you go into um, Yusuke's Confidant, he paints like two different types of paintings. And both paintings I love so, 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 so much to the point where like the first time I saw it, like me, not only me, but like one of my favorite YouTubers, he like looked everywhere to see if like he could find it he found like some but not very close to the original and such because you know some people will go on um i think like what red bubble or whatever and just like almost like copy and paste it or like do something to make it almost like their own in a way but it is a gorgeous painting and i was just like oh my god i was like you know atlas why the hell did you make this actual authentic painting and made it like you know hey like here you want it for 20 something bucks because your girl would pay 20 something bucks hell even 30 bucks for a really good nice authentic painting because like mm, just want to hang it in your house and be like look at this <laughs> look at it but um yeah I, with this girl who has a butterfly as a head what the fuck is going on so something tells me of course she's working with the mannequins and i like can we also talk about the mannequins and how hot the one with the glasses looked oh my god like no i thought i would never be followed for these two i was like okay yeah mannequins mm. no no see 
this show and review Starlight. Yeah, yeah, I, I don't even know who the freaking voice actors are for the mannequins, but like, so let's talk about review Starlight and the freaking giraffe. The friend, the man who plays the giraffe. That man is so damn fine. And he knows it. Because <laughs> it's worse because he plays Nanami in Jujutsu Kaisen and it's just like, oh my god, I can't with you right now. But I, I'm really scared for Momo because it d just the way this ended for her and the fact is that you know the person that she really truly cared about now is back to life and i'm thinking okay you're you're done it's over you don't have to worry about this anymore you're not coming back and such and then we got to see the water coming down that's got to be like that's got to mean something as well maybe like saying that possibly momo is going to die i would hate the fact is like yes you killing off all these girls one by one by one until maybe either there is one left or there's none left. But who fucking knows what the hell they're going to do? With, with an original anime series, you have no effing clue. Because this is how I felt with freaking Akudama Drive. And I was like, no, it's going to go this way. And then it completely did And then it went so different. And then, you know, by the last episode, I was emotional as fuck. And... It feels like it's happening again, and I just, I can't, I can't do this again. The, I, I can't, I cannot, I just, I feel for Momo, I just want to just tell her it's going to be okay, but like I said at the same time, like, you know, when you are in those motions and you have someone like me who is cheerful and sweet and wants to talk to you and tries to get something out of you and says, it's going to be okay. No matter what you hear someone say, it's, it's okay, it's okay. To you, yourself, you're like, no, it's not okay. It's not going to be okay. But, you know, someone as me, we, like, there's people out here who don't see those signs, even no matter how many times you say, it's going to be all right. But by the time, because you are so, there are people, and I'm not like this, who are so, um, oblivious to see the signs and such because they want to see something else about you know their child their husband their um their wife their um stepbrother or stepsisters their actual brothers and sisters anyone um nieces nephews um uncles aunts grandmothers grandfathers whoever in a family friends whoever um because they want to see them in a certain way. They're like, no, like, I'm, or they're too busy with their own freaking lives to kind of almost worry about you in a way. But I, I'm just, I'm really scared. Really, really scared. And I don't like the way that this is going. I it just, you, you give me like a happy moment where it's like, oh my God, like Momo might finally be happy with this girl who's possibly going to be born and such. And they're going to meet each other. And he's, she's going to be a boy and they're going to fall in love and stuff. And I'm just like, oh my God, like, yeah, I have to be happy for her because she's wanted someone to look at her as a girl and not like as both, even though there are some people who are like, yeah, I want you to look at me as both and such. But y'all really was like, yeah, today is despair moment, like all up in this bitch, but other than that, guys, that is my reaction review towards episode 10 of Wonder Egg Priority. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Tuesday for episode 11. Bye, guys.